So I have over here this, it's an I Love Drawing Stencil Set. It's by a company, Bufo, and this set is just really great. So I just want to tell you two really fun uses how you can use it for education. Um, but before I do, I just want to point out it comes in this really amazing box. As you can see over here, it's got this carry handle. So if you are a mom and you do have kids, storage is a breeze. You know, open it up and close it up. Good to go. So easy, so much fun. So let's go see what's inside. Now, of course, it is a stencil set. So it does have tons of stencils. There we go. It's got tons and tons of stencils. And the stencils are, oh, there's some more in the box. The stencils are quite beautiful, actually. I do like how they are color. you know, they have a lot of different colors. And they have all sorts of things. And each set, I've noticed, is its own theme in itself. For example, we have this set over here, which is things that go. We have, um, this set over here is sea creatures. Then you have a set of shapes. And I like the set of shapes because it also has some textures. So your kids can be super creative. Um, I like the font over here, the font of the um, letters. It's nice. It's easy. It's big. It's just beautiful. We have more things that go, or vehicles, animals. Um, this is more holiday oriented, but it's really fun. And there's a lot of them. You see, there's a lot of stencils, and it's tons of fun. Another um, another thing this set comes with is, let me show you here, is this beautiful paper, kind of to get your kids started. So right out of the box, you know, they could really start coloring, and you don't have to worry about, oh, is there a paper? Give it to them over the holidays, and which is another fun thing. If it is over the holidays, just have them you know, pick up the box and go. So here are two things. Oh, it also comes with um, a sharpener and pencils. But here are two ways that I would actually use it in the classroom or in a homeschool or on the go. The first one is if you do run a homeschool or a classroom, but more for a homeschool, and you have a cooperative um, setting where, let's say, you homeschool your kids all week and, you know, your friends homeschool their kids all week and then you kind of get together once a week to, I guess, socialize. So for the younger age group, group um, in addition to socialization, because, you know, you're with mom all day or dad or whatever, you're not really in a group setting. So when it comes to socialization, that could be a fear, but here's what I would do to keep it alive. And again, this is more for the younger age group, would be to have them... You know, every single week, pick a setting. They could pick the setting that they want. It could be under the sea. They could do it with their friend. They could decide. It's totally up to you. Um, the stencils don't have to be a focal point of what you're doing, but it could be an addition. And just, you know, to kind of create something based on what they're learning. Um, you, Depending on whether they're writing or not, you may have to you know, incorporate some dictation. Now it goes like this. Let, let's say you're learning about, um, I guess, swamp creatures. I don't know. It just happens to be that I got a little swamp fellow over here, a little alligator. So you're learning about swamp fellows right here. Um, and have the kids start out with kind of, you know, however they want to depict a scene or a setting. And if you are... If your kids are writing, then let them write a small paragraph to their friend about what they learned this week. For example, this week in homeschool, we learned about swamp creatures. I found the alligator to be most interesting because of his super large jaws. I don't know. You know, your kids will be creative on how they think. Now, if you're, if you're learning about swamp creatures and your kids do not write, well, they could do the same thing. Have them write, you know, a little paragraph or something about what they learned um, and you, they'll tell it to you and then you know you'll dictate and kind of write down what they say what they say in their own words and you know you give it to your friend and the friend's mom will read it when you leave and it'll kind of be a way to for your kids to compare notes to see differences in both your homeschools now if you do run a classroom and your kids are autistic and they do enjoy enjoy um, art but you're you can't necessarily take off class time for art, which it's a whole other discussion why you should. But anyway, if you can't, then you know what? Do something like this. Have the kids pair up into groups. Have them kind of draw a scene. And again, like I'm doing here, I'm using the um, 
the stencils to enhance the setting, but the kids in groups can kind of together um, pick their favorite part of the day, write about it, and just learn together, you know, in a whole new educational way while incorporating their classroom with the arts. And so the, these stencils are just a really, really fun way to um, incorporate the arts with education, but at the same time, not pressure your kids because not every kid really has the talent or wants to show their talent. Um, another thing, this is less, um, I wouldn't say less creative, but this is less of an art project, but if your kids are learning a new language and you want to incorporate the language with the arts, and I'm not going to attempt a language here because unfortunately I only speak English, but if they are learning a new language, then you know what, have them pick something let's say you're introducing a crocodile and so you the kids you know they'll draw the crocodile the alligator whatever it is and maybe week one they'll draw it and they'll just you know label it crocodile and then week two or a day later they can add oh the crocodile is green and then they can add a new word let's say you know you're incorporating the word swamp or whatever it is oh the green crocodile lives in the swamp and so you're kind of using the stencils and incorporating you know language in a way that, you know what, they don't know. They're not necessarily familiar with. And as the year, you know, the weeks go by, they'll be able to, let's say, have whole groups of scenery and settings and things that they were not capable of doing because the language was new to them. But you're not pressuring them and you're just, you know, letting them draw with, you know, use stencils and just, you know, have fun in a whole new way. So here's just one example of something you know <laughs> I just did quickly on the spot for you guys but you know what it was effortless I started with the stencil I had tons of fun and now from the kids perspective I have all this room to write a story or again dictation or languages you could start like let's say um, if you are doing it for language then kind of split up the paper and have you know your first word here and then the sentence here and then before you know it they'll be you know kind of make it like a collage of the new language from the one word to possibly even a paragraph of how they were able to take the word in their language and expand on the learning. So I'm going to leave the link to these stencils below because I do feel they have a great educational value in the classroom. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, then definitely let me know what you think in the comment box below if you like these stencils or what creative way do you use stencils? Because I think stencils are tons of fun and I think they're underrated in the classroom and we should have more of them. So definitely let me know what you think. Feel free to check out the link below because I'm going to leave the link to these, these stencils because I think it's amazing. And the best part about it, I'm just going to show you again. You know when you are finished, just slip it all back into the box. There you go. Just slip it back into the box. I'm just going to show one quickly. Slip it back into a box, close it up, and mess is gone. So in a classroom, it's a nice box. It won't take up too much space. And if you, you know, again, if you're a cooperative um, or you have homeschool play dates, just grab and go. And this is really a great stencil set. Most definitely check into this. Again, in the comment box below, let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe to my channel because when your kids are having fun, that's when the learning happens. Happy playing.